Art with Miss Strauss. Third grade art. Lesson three, Patchwork Tree. Art lessons for September 14th through September 25th. Hello everyone. Are you ready for lesson three, Patchwork Tree? Objective. Number 30, you will create a contour line drawing. Setting up your art space. Find a comfortable spot for you and your art materials. The only thing you really need right now is your school laptop. I'll explain more in the lesson and also show you what digital tools you could use. Other materials are optional. In this lesson, I will use basic school supplies like a pencil, paper, art supplies like colored pencils, crayons, and markers, images of nature, and digital drawing tools. Imagination. Using your imagination is an important part of forming ideas. Maybe you have imagined another world of fantastic creatures or futuristic landscapes with flying cars. Have you ever used your imagination to think of an idea for a new work of art? Just like you, artists use their imagination. Imagination is an important part of forming new ideas. Observe and investigate. In addition to using their imagination, artists observe and investigate the world around them. Artists can be inspired to create new things when they explore the world around them. Words to know. Observation. I will say it again. Observation. Now you say it. Ready? Go. Good. Observation. Now let's say it together one more time. Ready? Observation. What do you think that word means? If I ask you to observe something, what do I want you to do? What do you think the kids in this video are observing? To observe something is to watch. Whenever you are watching something, you are observing. I imagine those kids were out bird watching. Have you ever watched a bird in a nest? Right now, you can observe a mother robin feeding her chicks. Chicks in this video clip. Now we can observe this artist practicing the technique of plein air painting. Plein air is the French way of saying open air or outside. All artists look around them and observe what is happening. They watch how things change and pay attention to details. You can practice your observation skills by watching something that is around you. You can find artistic inspiration and think of new ideas for the artwork that you are creating when you observe the world around you. Words to know. Investigate. I will say it again. Investigate. Now you say it. Ready? Good. Investigate. Now let's say it together. Ready? Investigate. What do you think that word means? With a little help from an adult, these kids in this video are investigating. What do you think they are doing? If I had to guess, I would say that they are studying planets or outer space. To investigate is to try to learn something more about something. Investigation can help you prepare to create a work of art. The more you learn about something, the more ideas you can explore in your artwork. Artists also investigate things that interest them. For example, an artist who is interested in outer space could go outside and observe the night sky. They could also read a book or watch a video to learn more. An artist who likes dinosaurs might vi visit a paleontology museum to learn more about how to draw a new dinosaur. They might also investigate dinosaurs by reading in a book about dinosaurs. An artist who is inspired by animals might visit a zoo to observe and investigate how different animals look or behave. They also might read a book about animal habitats to investigate where certain animals live. When you observe and investigate the world around you, you might be inspired to use your imagination to create new things. What would you like to investigate? I love nature. And so I like to investigate in the natural world and observe animals and plants. Maybe we could go outside. Hey everybody, we are outside. We're at the park and 
and we are looking for kinds of things that maybe aren't usually used for art, but kinds of things that we could use for making art or things to look at to inspire our art. Right now it's a gorgeous day and we're on the lake and there's a lot to inspire us. So we're at the park and uh, there's quite a few people here so I got my mask back up even though we're outside and I'm collecting things as we walk around, things that might be interesting, things that could be used for art in different ways. So this is what I have so far, but let's keep looking around. There's little pieces of twigs and sticks and things here. Hmm, what's that thing? It's got some good texture. Ooh, what's this thing? I like that texture too. It'd be kind of fun. I might take that for later. Sometimes we get to go outside and check out nature. Look at these trees that I observed. Do you see any trees around you? What do they look like? What lives in the trees? How would you draw them? Trees are all over and look different around different seasons. There's lots of different kinds also and in different parts of the world. What trees are around you? I enjoyed my time outside and I love seeing all these trees, but sometimes you can't just walk out to the park. What can you do to observe trees and investigate nature? I know, maybe we should look in a book. Let's go back to Schoology to find our book for this week. If you look at this page, you'll see a Schoology classroom that's probably similar to yours. I know it's not exactly the same, but you should be able to follow the same steps. If I open this folder and go down to this week's lesson, I can open this lesson folder and then this optional extras for lessons to get to Epic eBooks. Students and educators, that's us, and class code here. Your class code is the one that your classroom teacher uses. Use that code if you have it. My code is TJT5594. To get to your existing account, please make sure to use the code that your classroom teacher gave you. Now you could explore Epic on your own and find lots of interesting books, but I've added this to your collection for you. Once you are at this page, you can learn all about trees by clicking on any of these book titles to learn more. Now, one of my favorites is Extreme Trees. When this book loads, I can learn all about different trees and how they look. Now that I have a good idea of what a tree looks like, I can go back to my paper and draw a picture of a tree even though I might not be sitting in front of a tree out at the park right now. I use Epic all the time. You can search photos on your own. We can use the images we see to reference the details of trees we draw. While you can wait until later, I'm going to start my drawing with the supplies and paper I have to draw a tree while I have my epic books pulled up on my screen. So with my video ready, I can start drawing. I can either follow along with a video or a book, or I can start drawing by myself. I'm going to choose a regular pencil and start drawing on regular paper. Ready? Here we go. Now I have my basic drawing of my tree and I'm going to start working on the patchwork part. Now I just have some regular random school tools and materials from my pencil box 
and you can use whatever you'd like. But to make our patchwork, we're gonna fold our paper a couple of times so that we have different segments. If it was the same on both sides, we would have a symmetrical drawing, but I know it's not symmetrical. This side is a little bit different than this side, and that's okay. We're gonna fold it a couple more times, and it doesn't have to be equal, but I'm gonna guess it's about one third, and then I'm gonna fold it back over itself, and it's about one third here, I just want to make different segments or quadrants for my drawing. So right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six different segments. If you have different numbers of segments or if you folded it differently, that, that's a completely okay. What I'm going to do is in each segment, I'm going to draw a different pattern for my patchwork tree. Ready? Here we go. ask what makes the contour. Contours lines follow each other and add volume to the shapes. I'm going to go back to Schoology because there's something that we can do online. If we go to this link, we can click on Nature Sketchpad Plum Landing PBS Kids. So here in Plum Landing, I can choose different pages. I'm going to flip ahead using New Mission until I get to a page with new trees. It says Popular Poplars. And I tr created this page because I can go to this function here and make a very large sticker for my tree. Now, instead of having to draw the whole tree, I can start here with my drawing. Our instructions are to make a patchwork tree. The next part is to divide the tree into halves and quarters. Half, all the way down, and then I'm going to draw a line halfway this way to make quarters. I can make more quadrants. Now I have one, two, three, four. On this part of my page, I can add texture. but you might have more than four, and yours doesn't have to look exactly like mine. In this spot, you can type what your drawing was about. When you're ready, you can save to your computer, and then continue drawing or share the drawing back in Schoology. You don't have to, that part is optional. Just make sure to save so you don't lose your work.
Now for Schoology, your classroom looks a lot like this. To upload your work, you can click over here for Upcoming Events and Just for Fun Lessons. Now on mine it says Submissions, No Submissions.